First, I would like to welcome everyone attending. Um, today, I'm going to present my, uh, part of my research work that I have accomplished in, uh, during my uh, fellowship. Uh, my work entitled The Impact of Catechol Estrogen Metabolism on Cell Proliferation and Docetaxel Resistance in Hormone Responsive Cancers. I'm interested in studying hormone responsive cancers, especially prostate cancer and breast cancer, because they are among the top listed causes of cancer related deaths in both uh, men and women. The growth and progression of certain subsets of prostate cancer and breast cancer is regulated by estrogen. Uh, both prostate cancer and breast cancer can be uh, classified into two subtypes uh, based on their estrogen receptor alpha expression status. And uh, the, the subtype that expresses estrogen receptor alpha uh, uh, is the estrogen responsive one. Now, the important question is how the estrogen is formed in males. Estrogen is formed through the aromatization of adrenal androgens into estrogens uh, through the action of aromatase enzyme. Therefore, estrogen or estradiol, the feminine hormone, is available in both men and women. Now, let's take a closer view to know how estrogen is implicated in carcinogenesis. There are two main mechanisms, estrogen receptor dependent effects and estrogen receptor independent effects. For the estrogen receptor dependent effects, it's mainly mediated due to uh, the stimulation of estrogen receptor alpha, which leads to increased cell proliferation, angiogenesis, and increased aggressiveness of uh, estrogen responsive cancers. And for the estrogen receptor independent effects, uh, they are mainly due to the effect of estrogen metabolites. Estrogen is metabolized uh, through the action of cytochrome B450 enzyme system into catechol metabolites such as 2-hydroxyestradiol and 4-hydroxyestradiol. Those catechols are either subjected to detoxification or they can form quinone metabolites which is more reactive as they can uh, lead to the formation of DNA adducts which in initiates DNA mutations or they can activate estrogen receptor mediated pathways and in both cases they can lead to increased cell proliferation. So the aim of this part of my study was to test the hypothesis that uh, catechol estrogen metabolites can affect the sensitivity of hormone responsive cancers to chemotherapy such as docetaxel. And regarding to the study design, I selected two uh, cell lines from each uh, cancer type. One of them is estrogen receptor alpha positive, such as PC3 cell line of, uh, from prostate cancer and MCF7 cell line from breast cancer. And another cell line, which is estrogen receptor alpha negative, such as DU145 and MDAMB cell line. For the first specific aim, I investigated the effect of estrogens and catechol estrogens on the cell proliferation. And during this study, I exposed the cells to different concentrations of either estrogens or catechol estrogens uh, for different time points. And I'm displaying here the results for the 48 hour time point. And as we can see here, there is a significant increase in the proliferation um, uh, of uh, MCF7 cell line. Uh, uh, after exposure to 0.1 micromolar of either estrogens or catechol estrogens. Uh, and this cell line is estrogen receptor positive, while there is no significant change in the cell proliferation in MDA cell line, which is estrogen receptor negative. In the next step, I investigated the effect of catechol estrogens on docetaxel resistance. And in this study, I exposed the cells to uh, different concentrations of docetaxel uh, together with very low concentration of the catechol estrogen metabolite 2-hydroxyestradiol at 0.01 micromolar. And as we can see here, there is a significant, reduc uh, significant reduction in docetaxel potency as evidenced by increase in the docetaxel IC50. And this result was for MCF7. The the same results was obtained for MDA cell line, which is estrogen receptor negative. You have two minutes. So, yeah. So the conclusion is uh, that uh, catechol estrogen metabolites can increase the proliferation rate of estrogen receptor positive cancers, and they can reduce the potency of docetaxel in both estrogen receptor positive and estrogen receptor negative cancers. And the abstract of this work was published at the proceedings of the American Association of Cancer Research annual meeting that was held in Washington, D.C. this year in April. And finally, I would like to thank the Binational Fulbright Commission in Egypt and Fulbright Organization 
um, um, uh, for all uh, their support. And I also, um, I'm also honored to be the Egyptian L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Fellow for uh, 2016. Um, I also thank uh, my host professor from Chapman University School of Pharmacy and University of California, Irvine. And I thank Dr. Henny Omar for his collaboration in this work and my colleagues uh, from Chapman University, especially Amira and Tiffany for uh, all their help. And thank you very much.